Oh, oh, wow, look at that, he's cleaning up. Secrets beneath your feet, spotting hidden gemstones in nature. Beneath the layers of common soil, where bare feet have wandered and children once played, lie secrets far older than memory. Hidden in plain sight, silent, unshaken, and waiting, are gemstones forged by Earth's most powerful forces. Today, we uncover what your backyard, your forest walk, your riverside hike may be silently protecting. This isn't a story, this is a revelation. Let's begin. When you step into the natural world, the first thing to understand is this. Gemstones don't look like jewelry. They don't sparkle on command, they're cloaked in mystery, masked by mineral coats, moss, or centuries of weathering. But the signs? Oh, the signs are everywhere. Start by examining the terrain's age and violence. Gemstone formations are born through volcanic heat, hydrothermal pressure, or tectonic metamorphosis. So look for bedrock exposure, fault lines, and eroded hillsides, places where the Earth's layers have been ripped open by time. A cracked boulder beside your driveway, a washed out gully, an exposed root system in the woods, all of these can cradle hidden gems beneath. Next, follow water. Because where water flows, gemstones move. Dry creek beds, river bends, and streamside gravel bars are prime collection zones. Look for heavy mineral deposits, black sand, rust-colored soil, or strangely smooth, weighty pebbles. These can indicate the presence of garnet, tourmaline, zircon, or even sapphire. You may not recognize a gemstone immediately, but weight speaks louder than shine. Let's get closer. Look for color variations in rough stones. A deep wine red might be garnet. An oceanic blue, possibly kyanite. Milky white veins and quartz could signal embedded amethyst. Even subtle greens, oranges, or smoky hues in ordinary looking rocks could mark the presence of beryl or topaz. Here's a trick that geologists use. Hardness testing. You don't need a fancy kit, just a pocket knife. Quartz will scratch glass. Corundum, like ruby or sapphire, will scratch steel. If your stone resists the blade, it's time to investigate further. Then there's luster. Some stones gleam with a waxy or pearly shine, even when dirty. Others sparkle with internal reflections. Don't wash them yet. Look at them raw. The best discoveries often come coated in dust. And don't forget the context clues. If you're near iron-rich soil, look for hematite or jasper. If you're on granite terrain, search for smoky quartz or feldspar. In schist or nice regions, that's where garnets love to hide. One of the most overlooked places to find gemstones is directly beneath decaying trees. Root systems break bedrock as they grow, pulling minerals upward. When they die and rot away, they leave behind fragile networks of exposed earth like natural excavation sites. And in these little forgotten pits, treasure awaits. Many backyard prospectors miss one vital detail, the angle of light. Midday glare flattens texture and hides detail, but sunrise and sunset, that golden hour, reveals surface imperfections, a subtle glint, a translucent edge, the buried flash of a rough crystal catching, just enough light to say, I'm here. Sign, right now, someone is stepping over a raw gemstone, thinking it's a piece of glass or worse, trash. But you're learning to see the invisible. You're learning that nature whispers in shapes, textures, and density. That secrets don't shine, they wait. And in just a moment, we'll go deeper. Because these hints are only the beginning. The surface tells a story. But if you want to find gemstones, the kind that have defied time, you need to look deeper. This is where we separate curiosity from mastery. The untrained eye sees a river stone. The trained mind sees a geode. Nice. That's crazy. Okay. That might be the one. Wow. Yeah. Hey guys, it's coming. Oh, it's ready? Whoa. Oh. Let's open it. Geodes are hollow formations with crystal linings inside, 
and they often blend in, rounded, gray, dull, but their hidden interiors can hold amethyst, quartz, calcite, even opal. Tap them. Listen. A hollow echo could mean hidden beauty within. Pay attention to clusters. Where you find one interesting stone, you'll often find more. Gemstones form in veins, pockets, and mineral-rich zones, not in isolation. The ground gives hints in patterns. Learn the rhythm and you'll find the source. Some of the most incredible gemstone discoveries have come from nothing more than a gut feeling, a color out of place, a glimmer in the wrong direction. Don't ignore instinct. It's often your subconscious detecting a clue your eyes haven't caught. Fracture lines in bedrock often trap gemstone crystals, especially after seasonal freeze-thaw cycles or erosion. Rainwater seeps in, pressure builds, and over time the cracks bloom with quartz, barrel, garnet, or feldspar. Look for angular openings, crevices with unnatural shine, or smooth faces interrupting jagged surfaces. Nature reveals through rupture. Some of the best gemstone hunters are children because they get low. They look close. They aren't distracted by what should be. They explore what is. So drop to one knee, touch the dirt, feel the grain beneath your fingertips. The earth speaks clearest when you're closest to it. If you're by water, watch for unnatural color among monotones. A flash of electric blue, a streak of violet, a muted green hiding among grays. That's not coincidence. That's nature leaking a secret. Gems like sapphire, apatite, spinel, or keonite often have richer hues than their surroundings, even in raw form. And the moment you pick one up, you'll feel it in your palm. You don't need equipment to find gemstones. What you need is understanding. Know the land, listen to the water, read the light, and when your senses all point to the same place, that's where you dig. Sometimes with your hands, sometimes with your heart. The most profound truth about finding gemstones in nature, you don't find them, they find you. You tune into the earth, you notice, you care, you follow where most wouldn't look twice, and in return, the earth opens up. A sapphire in soil, an emerald in roots, a garnet beneath your heel. These are more than minerals, they're moments frozen in crystal. So go outside, go gently, go curiously, go boldly, because beneath your feet, secrets wait, and now you know how to find them. Every stone you leave behind adds to the story nature's been telling for millions of years. And every gem you find, no matter how small, connects you to something far older, far deeper than we often take time to see. This journey isn't just about treasure, it's about seeing the world differently. Because when you look closely enough, even your backyard becomes a place of wonder. The Earth holds secrets for those who listen. Subscribe to EGS Pro for more hidden truths, because next time we'll be cracking open the Earth's best-kept secrets again.